Hey guys, what's up? PVM Johnny here. Um, my inventory is covered in a little surprise that I want to show you guys real quick. But um, if you look in my juicy loot tab, a lot of limp root roots was added to it. A lot of coal, which for some reason is in my skilling tab, it should be in here. Um, some mage logs, just general bandos loot as it looks like, and that's because we went to bandos last night. I'll throw up a screeny right about now of a tacit split that I got, and I have a little story to tell you guys about that Bandos trip. Um, basically, what happened was we had a tank who was really, really laggy, and um, I joined a clan yesterday, too. <coughs> and that clan was, um, it was my first event with that clan, and we didn't decide who the tank was before we left, so nobody had tank gear whatsoever. So we were just like, okay, the only 138 that was with us, you might as well tank. And then, so he was pretty upset about that, but he ended up tanking anyways. And then when he was done, or um, every now and then he would lag and someone else would have to tank. And basically, I tanked out two kills with a black dehyde body on nothing but papaya fruit because it was like three quarters of the way through the trip. And then when I went back and looted my stuff, I was tanking again while I was looting. And all I had was like five shark or something like that. And then when I tabbed out uh, after I was done looting and I came back with two um, fruit bats. Because that's usually what I bring. I usually have one summoned and bring two extra. Because that's if you have one summoned that'll usually be down to like 20 minutes by the time that you get there and you get KC. And you find a world. So then that would normally be about two hours or a two hour trip or so. And then... Um, so, for some reason, it took me longer to get KC when I came back there with all my Barrows gear repaired and whatnot. And so, um, I only had like 15 minutes left on my fruit bat. And two people that were there were just like, okay, I need you to give me with one of your fruit bat pouches. So, I ended up with no extra fruit bat pouches. And um, they actually got a tacit split while I was dead. I forgot to mention that while I was dead. Um, uh, before I got back there to loot my stuff, they got a tacit split that was 4 mil. Um, after I went back there, I gave away all my fruit bat pouches. I only had about 10 minutes of healing. Uh, so I was just spamming my fruit bat at every chance that I could, just because I wanted to get the most use out of it. And so you'll notice that I bought some supplies um, from about 300 raw shark, or I mean cooked shark, to about... Where is it? My fruit bat scrolls, I bought a lot of these. I bought like 1,500 of them yesterday. Um, I bought a Torax body yesterday, and yet my cash pile is still above where it was. And I didn't actually use the Torax body at Bandos because I wasn't tanking, so you know how that goes. Um, Bandos boots were my Bandos item. I am, I am too newbie to just get like a Bandos cloak or something and get dragon boots. Um... What else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, and then when I got back there, um, only about 10 kills in, we got a, another uh, tacit split for about 3 mil. It was actually like 2.9 mil, that's the screeny that should have been on there earlier. And then, um, well I was still there the first time, we got two Godshard charge splits that I didn't take screenies of. And let me pull up something real quick. A little log of the first, like, however many kills, um, before I was down to only papayas. Basically, while I had shark left, I was logging everything, but then when I was down to only papayas, I was just like, screw that, I'm just gonna pay attention. So the first kill was a rune 28, second kill was 20k, third kill, snapseed, fourth kill, 20k, fifth kill, only 3k, that's like a troll drop, drop but not as much of a troll as down here. Bandos drops 304 GP. What is this? Like, that's just freaking stupid. And then... Um, so kills 10... Or, the kill 10 was a Godshard Shard 1. And on the 13th kill, um, killing one of the minions was a Godshard Shard 2. So, that was that. Now... If I go in here, I have... Um, Wait, one sec, I want to show you guys something else real quick. My bank space. My bank is pretty dang full. Um, obviously you just saw me drop some of that black stuff that was in here from Easy Clues forever ago. But, 
I'm thinking about selling all my loot right now. I'm gonna find out how much it would be worth first real quick. Let me just throw my uh, dungeoneering ring in here. I'm gonna do some dungeoneering later on, but not right now. Um, I'll take the black dragon hides out later if I have room for them. I'm gonna take out the things that I have a lot of first. Yes. Lots of grot worm loot in here too. Oh, didn't mean to go all the way down. I feel like just elking some of this grot worm loot too, because it's kind of worth elking it. It's pretty much the same price as in the GE, and you don't need to actually sell it in the GE and wait for it to sell and whatnot. Um. So black dehydes. Oh, I was missing a lot of stuff here. Water talismans, U logs. These lantidimes are probably worth something. Mythor is probably worth something. Might as well take the seaweed and the snape crash that I got from water fiends. And now down to the bandos loot down here. All kinds of stuff. Um. Ooh, Dragon Dagger loot that's worth like an extra 30k onto the price check. And if I'm going for things that are only worth 30k, I might as well take my Dragon Stone. So that's 2.5 mil right there. That's disappointing because it was worth about 3.5 mil earlier. But then again, I sold a lot of stuff from it. So, But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to move things like the Magic Logs and the Coal up to the top. And I'm basically going to get going on the top. Just all kinds of um, loot that's really often gotten from bosses. For example, coal, mage logs, um, snapdragons, snapdragon seeds. Just that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to just build up my drop tab from there. So. Oh, fuck. Okay, um. These need to be up top somewhere. I'll say right there is good. U logs should be instead of rune long swords. But rune long swords are pretty often too, so can't really argue with that. Um. So yeah, this price check was 2.5 mil on top of the 5 mil that I have in my coin pouch. That's a decent amount of money. Um, so now I'm going to go do some dungeoneering. But I figured I'd, I'd start this video early because this is only like two hours after I woke up. And I'm just going to take out any interesting clips throughout the day. Like I might record the end of some dung floors that were pretty good, just stuff like that. But I'll just keep the recorder paused throughout the entire day pretty much and just record random bits and pieces. That way it's not just a 30 minute long video of just one little session of gameplay rather than and just explaining everything that happened throughout the day rather than just actually you guys getting to see everything that happened throughout the day. So as you can see, I'm about 65k tokens away. I'll have it, eh, give or take, tomorrow-ish. I'm about to be 77. Oh, I should have gotten 77 yesterday. Oh, well. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Here's the second clip of this video. Um, I actually decided to come and do some Hunter. But as you can see, I still have my dungeoneering up thing, thing up because I was doing a lot of dungeoneering earlier. Well, not a lot because I'm obviously not even 78 yet, which I wanted to be by the end of today. But it's just really, really annoying. And um, I'm, I think I'm going to try and average at about 25k tokens a day until I get it, which would mean that it's about three days left. And that would also mean about five larges a day, which is not awful. Um, I think I could do that. So I'm going to try and do that. And then... Um, Basically, the reason that I made this or that I'm making this clip right here is to kind of rant about the people who dungeoneer. Of course, like I said yesterday, I am a bitch when I dungeoneer. I really start to get pretty mean sometimes, you know. And it's just I get where some people are coming from when they start raging and stuff, but it's just like I can't stand when kids are doing what this one kid was doing earlier. So basically, this kid was the party leader, and he would. And if people asked him to drop the group gate stone when he said he was about to AFK, he would be like, no, fuck you. 
and he would just sit there with the group gate stone at home for like half the dungeon and then I was like okay this is the last door here's a pot for the person who had a high enough skill to pot up and do the door and so I'm like I'm gonna go to go to the bathroom real quick and then when I get back it wasn't even like two minutes and I got back this guy's like oh yeah you were gone for the whole dungeon and I see three times where it says vote to kick PVM Johnny um his not passed or whatever it says and I'm just like really you tried to kick me and then he's just like okay I'm sorry about that I guess I'm not gonna kick you and and then um at the end of the dungeon after the boss he wouldn't end it and so I was like dude just end it and he's like wow you can't kick people after the boss I'm like really fuck you and then he's just like you know what you were gone for half the dungeon i'm just like get out of here freaking 12 year olds so he's on my ignore list now because i don't want a dungeon here with him again let's see it was bt bt butcher if you guys want to go rage him too but like i hate the kids who dungeon here and they afk half the dungeon and then they yell at you if you afk for like two seconds and it's funny because I got every door to the dungeon unlocked before I actually went to AFK, and he still said that I missed half the dungeon. And then he tried to keep me just for the boss fight, and then kick me after the boss. Like, what's your problem? If you're going to kick someone, do it before the boss. And I know he tried to, but nobody else saw a reason to kick me besides him. But, you know, it's just typical 12-year-olds. I don't like sitting here and raging at people but when people do things like that there's really no way around it I'm gonna rage at them no matter what you know I only rage when people do things that are really stupid but I'm 19k off this hunter level so the next clip should be me getting this um hopefully so I'll be back in a minute I'm back for another clip and uh just to let you guys know how bad I've been doing today it was like four o'clock last time when I told you guys that I just got it hunter and now I'm still 5k off the level and it's actually um 855 so it's been about five hours and I haven't been playing at all those five hours I was watching tv and I was out disc golfing and you know just doing whatever but you know it, I would just have been doing really bad um there's 5k off right now Fucking catch it. Come on, Falcon. You're not that bad, are you? I hate when you accidentally click on one of the dashed ones, or dashing ones, when you mean to click on one of the spotted ones. Because they look like the exact same, but one takes like 30 Hunter, and one takes like 69. So, you know, but either way, I'll be back when I get this level, so... Just wait one minute. Well, like, five minutes for me, but like one second for you guys well I'll be back then alright guys this one should be the level um yep that's it so now I can go do all the quests needed for the lava flow mine for those of you who don't know that is what you need for the golden mining suit which gives 2.5 percent extra bonus in mining along with the fact that the way that you get it is a pretty AFK -able way so right now I'm heading to the GE to start getting the stuff that I need for the quests, now that I have all the requirements for the quests. Now the quests that I need to do, if we uncheck filter and we check hide done, the main quest that I'm trying to get done here, um, once I do this teleport so that I don't, um, or I don't accidentally um, stall a teleport, like if you're doing a teleport animation and you open this, it, I think it stops it, but King of the Dwarves is my main one that I'm trying to do. And of course I do need 70 smithing, but you know, um, I don't think that that's going to be too tough to get. I think I could get that pretty easily. And now, the main thing that I need is um, My Arms Big Adventure and Forgiveness of Chaos Dwarf for this quest. So if we go over to My Arms Big Adventure, oh crap, shit, what are you doing? My Arms Big Adventure is right here, and there's that. I have pretty much everything for this except for Edgar's Roos. So if we go up to Edgar's Roos, um, I could have gotten these two quests done before I got Hunter done, but oh well. Um, Edgar's Roos, I need to go talk to the dude in Taverly. That's a, that's the one that I'm going to do first. And then My Arms Big Adventure. And then Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf, which I have everything needed. But I did need 61 Hunter, and so that's why I did go out and do Hunter. Um, so I'm going to go get the stuff needed for these quests. And if I do these quests tonight, you'll see clips of them. If not, then this is the end of the video, so see you guys later. 
what's up? I thought that I wasn't able to start that Garjouche quest for a minute, but apparently I need to redo Druidic Ritual now that they changed it. So I got my trusty Rune HQ guide up. This is actually the guide for Edgar's Roos, but um, I have to get done Druidic Ritual first. But because I did this on my Johnny Max Escape from Scratch account, it shouldn't be too tough to do. But I also need to stop in the bank real quick and get one thing real quickly. Um, I need to stop here and get another maple log. And so I need to go and see what my current objective is in this quest. Um, oh fuck, it says that I've already completed it, so I can't even see what my current objective is. Um, hmm. I know what I need to do, but I just don't know how exactly to go about doing it. Um, I think I need to go and fish here. This should be first off, I think. No. I'm not at this point in the quest yet, what the fuck? Okay, um, back to the lodestone, and I'm going to go ahead and re-pull up the guide for Druidic Ritual. So I'll be back to you guys with the completion of this quest real quick, and then once again with the completion of Edgar's Roos. My error was like a fucking derp, I forgot to go talk to Sanfew, and it's not really that I forgot, it's just that I've talked to him about ten times already, so I really just, I was hoping that I would not have to do that step, because I already talked to him like ten times earlier about trying to start Edgar's Roos. And he was telling me to go talk to Calquimix. So I was thinking that that may have already done that step, but I guess not. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm back with probably one of my last clips for today. Well, actually not my last clip yet, but one of my last. I'm still not done with this quest yet because I've been moving pretty slowly on it. And I've also been on the forums to kind of pass the time. And you know what? A lot of the people um, on the forums who talk about the evolution of combat in the recent updates thread... You will see that they start talking about how this person doesn't like it, this person doesn't like it, this person doesn't like it, this person doesn't like it. Let's see here. Um, this person doesn't like it. And I've read all these, by the way, so I'm not just assuming by the title. Um, this person is neutral about it, but wants to know what's wrong with it. And you know, it just really bothers me um, that... A lot of the people will go on and comment on these threads that the vast majority of players actually like it, when obviously there's almost no posts about it that say that they do like it. So I don't know what they're thinking, but, you know, that's fine with me. And then I've also been looking at a few other threads, but I'll save that for a different time. Oh, shit. Um, so either way, as far as my thoughts on the evolution of combat go, I like almost everything except for one thing, and that one thing is spirit shields. What's happening to spirit shields, I think, is just really retarded. I think it was really nice when you had a choice. Like, if you were wealthy enough to afford multiple spirit shields, you had the choice of the divine for uh, to take less damage and to keep more prayer, or you had that choice to um, to keep or to keep your prayer and get less damage with the Elijah, and I actually was saving up for an Elijah, and I really wanted an Elijah, and I thought that that would be something really cool to make my goal, and now I think it's just going to be retarded that Elijahs are only ranged, and Arcanes are going to be the same as Divines, so anybody with an Arcane, just hit the jackpot on that, because I guarantee you it's going to go up, um, and so it just really bothers me that those changed, but besides that, there's a few other things that I really don't like. For example, Tormented Demons are really unprofitable now that uh, Claws do literally nothing. Um, let's see here. Like, Claws are worse than a Dragon Dagger now, so you might as well just not even use them. Um, did he just take that potion from me? Oh, no, I gotta go get the Parrot back, okay. Um, and then besides that... You know, I also really don't like that, um, what's it called? That the Enhanced Excalibur spec got removed, or is going to be removed, because that I just got that fairly recently, so that kind of bothers me. But it's not the end of the world there. And now, another thing that I really don't like that kind of bothers me is the, um, the, what's it called? The defensive ability does that let you train your combat or that let you um, boost your adrenaline out of combat, because if you think about it, that is incredibly overpowered. 
Um, you could just go in and literally one hit bandos because you'll have your uh, ultimate ready and there are ultimates that do a crazy amount of damage for example I forget what it's called but Rune Shark talked about it in one of their videos and it basically automatically makes you tank corp because of how much damage you output Ugh. sorry I'm starting to lose my breath but so anyways um, that is another thing that I really don't like oh shit gotta go down here um, and then so as you can tell, there is more bad than good as far as what I think of it. But, you know, first off, those are just my opinions. Second off is that um, I do like some of the things, like the skilling on it. I really, I'm one of those people who think that there should be both. I think that this game should exist along with the new game. The new game is pretty nice. You know, I will enjoy it when I, um, one sec... I'm just trying to read some of this dialogue in case there's something interesting in it, but, you know, I, I do kind of, there are going to be times where I'm going to want the evolution of combat, but there's also going to be times that I won't. So I'm going to pause it right now until I complete this quest, which should only be a few more minutes, so I'll be right back. I'm back, and uh, to give you guys an idea of how long I've been doing this um, quest, it's actually 11.14 right now, and I've been doing this quest since about 10.30. Uh, actually about 10. So it took me about an hour and a fift in 15 minutes, but that was with very little concentration. So I'm not too upset about that. Uh, these next few quests definitely should not be near as bad. Um, first one that I'm going to be doing is going to be My Arms Big Adventure, then Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf. And then I I'm going to try and pot up to do King of the Dwarfs. But if that does not work, it's only going to cost me about 800k worth of doing Mithril Bolts and turning them into Mithril... Uh, or do, buying mithril bars and turning them into mithril bolts, and that that's not a huge amount of money, so I'm not going to be too upset about with that. And we are going to Bandos again tomorrow, so I could hopefully be making some money there. And now, let's see here. There we go. 11k Urgler XP is also pretty nice, but that uh, teleport and the lava flow mine are the main reason why I did this quest. Um, let me just spam click right here. Ooh, medium XP lamp, but it's in constitution, which is not very useful at all. Um, medium XP lamp again. That's not too bad. And actually, right now, I am lamping a different skill other than farming, like I said I would be. I am actually lamping, um, where is it? Where is it? I'm actually lamping ranged right now because I'm trying to get the, um, royal dehyde. And I really don't want to pay a mill and a half worth of chinchampas, which is what I estimated it to cost. And I guess I can't even eat this uh, burnt meat that I got from this quest, so I'm going to just drop it. And that should be fine. So what I'm going, going to do now is I'm going to, well, 